hello everyone so this is my second video um, of Gracie's um, sweet treats and this is one of my my mom's grandmother's um, recipe and it was passed down to my mom's uh, mother and then now I know how to um, do this also so this is called strawberries and um blackberry rolls and what you do like i said you can do your own dough you can roll out your own dough make your own dough or you can do what i did i went and got the pillsbury big boy um butter dough that is already made and all and just roll it out and then you just cut up your strawberries um, you and then you put your raspberries or your blackberries or whatever you want in it you can do peaches you can do apples um, any type of fruit with this is like a cobbler and then what you do is then you add your sugar to it you sprinkle your sugar and cinnamon and then um, then you just roll it up um, if you do homemade dough then you will have to add a little butter um inside of it um just to give it a little bit of flavor and then um you can also sprinkle melt butter and spread it on top of it also but i didn't do that because like i said i did the pillsbury um big boy dough it was already done so it already had the butter little flakes and stuff in it so and i just put just to add just add my fruit or whatever in it and then what you do is you use whole fresh strawberries cut up in, in fresh um, berries or fresh fruit and then you just fold the dough around it once you add your sugar and a little bit of cinnamon is all you need and then on top of it of the dough you just fold it up like a and like a sort of like a round roll and you just fold it up and then what you do is um, you set it in um, a baking pan on 350 or either 375 and you bake it for no more than 30 minutes. Everything should be done in 30 minutes. The same thing goes for the apple pie. The apple pie between 30 and 45 minutes. And um, and then what you then you have like you can you can do puree fresh berries you can make it yourself smush it up and do puree and just add a little sugar to it and or either you can cook it on the stove but what i did is i went to um they already have like the puree strawberries in the frozen section um in your um local store and so you know it's it's near like all the smoothies and stuff like that out you know and apple pies and stuff like that so i just use that it's quicker um it's a lot easier and um so this is a quick you know dessert homemade dessert that you could use um you know just for if you just want to do something for like a small little party a small little dinner party or just something you just want to sit there and eat um and it's very healthy so you know it's nothing um bad about it. it's all it's all natural and all homemade and so and this is the after results and this is what it looks like this is what the straw i call it strawberry dumpling <laughs> or or i don't know what the name that my grandmother used to call it because i used to see i used to be in the kitchen with her when she used to bake it and um but this is i just call it a strawberry dumpling or, or a fruit pie dumpling or something like that dessert um, and then what you do is you put you also add a little bit of the puree strawberries inside of it also and I use like the parchment paper um, so that way you know it's easy to clean up also and it doesn't stick do you know the juice from the strawberries and you know it doesn't stick to the pan so and it's real easy to clean up and also too with that and then once you finish with that, once it's all brown and done like it is now, then you just add your rest of your puree strawberry on top of it. And then um, you can, and, it, and you see how soft it is? It makes it really soft. Um, you know, see underneath of it, you see all that juice. 
and then the strawberry topping is inside of it. Let me see if I can do it. Um, so that's that's what it looks like. 